Hi! I wasn't planning on doing any videos while I was on uh, vacation, but I do have some extra time. Oh shit! It's you again! Really? You really think that the like, crash dummies in a car, um, help? How are you doing, darling? For those of you who don't know, here's a quick rundown of a few of the things she believes. Age is fake! The earth is flat! You're living in a dream within a dream! Have a good day. So you managed to survive multiple car accidents and have gotten yourself a nice little holiday. Not really sure how, I'm pretty sure you're unemployable. I can't imagine screaming AIDS is fake gets you a call back to an interview. And there's very few people who want to hear your conspiracy theories halfway through your um, night job. But ho hum. So what do you want to talk about today? And thank God this time you aren't risking multiple people's lives in the process. And as always, lots of it's on my mind. Um, being here in Phoenix definitely reminds me of... How prevalent the Matrix really is. I really want that not to mean the films, but we know she does. I'm just going to have to resign myself to the fact that there are a lot of people who can't tell the difference between movies and, say, Thursday Down at the Brothel. I'm just looking around at everything and, I mean, I see it, I... <sighs> God, are you about to cry? Please don't. Could really do without the erection right now. I mean, what? The moon, the stars, the sun, uh, nature. It's all starting to um, not kind of looks fake. What do you even say to that? It looks fake. That kind of is the end of the slippery slope of your lot's argumentation. When I've shown you a video of space stuff, it's always looks fake. Well, prove it's fake then. But of course, you never will. That would require some degree of expertise, and that's never going to happen. It's the ultimate cop-out, because instead of actually having to provide any evidence, you just say, everything is fake, and then stand there looking smug about it. Um, and then being where everything is really fake? What, like a city? Or what? This, this is the other thing that drives me mad. You say, blah, 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 blah type of thing, but give no example. So you aren't actually saying anything, and that's why it baffles me that anyone even starts to follow your bullshit. If someone comes up to me without anything to back up their claims, other than, those guys are bad and do the pretending because reasons, I'm just going to ignore you. Well, I'm going to make fun of you, but most people are just going to ignore you. Because a claim given without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. It just um, brings a lot of thoughts. Lies. So, uh, what your uh, math teacher didn't teach you 101. I imagine what your maths teacher didn't teach you is a list so fucking vast, it actually breaks several mathematical laws. Uh, let's go back to the division division symbol, double vision. Okay, look, I'm not much of a mathematismerizer, but this, this isn't a thing, right? I mean, I looked it up, but I can't even find anything on Woo sites. I mean, it comes up on Google as an autocomplete, but there's no articles that I can find. So, we're going to um, keep the... Um, whole as the numerator, and we're going to keep um, helio or the false light as the denominator. See, that certainly sounds like a bunch of woo tarded claptrap, but it's been like over 15 years since I did any school maths, and it kind of sounds convincing in that sophistry way. So, I've asked a pal of mine who does actually work with the mathematics to go into exactly why this is all. Absolutely correct. Oi, you! Sick 
Come on, man, this is my day off. I don't give a shit, bitch. And what are you wearing? Everybody knows white with red crosses is in this season. Well, we can't all be crusaders now, can we? I've got an orc encampment to go take out. What the fuck, man? Hey, you were the one that gave me the power to summon you at will. You must have known I would abuse it. I am, after all, terrible. Anyway, this bitch. Pretend I'm completely stupid. It won't be hard. It's true. Explain why she's so correct about all of this. Um, this is the singular, the one. Um, when it reflected itself, it reflected itself into the negative one. Um. Eh? Eh? Okay. Listen to that. You can't tell me she's not onto something here. Okay, fine, fine. So, her second equation, the one over negative one. Fractions represent division. So when you divide a positive number by a negative number, it's a negative number. So one divided by negative one is just negative one. But if you look here, um, that is a um, negative, it is out of balance. It is a negative fraction. Um, so again, it has to divide itself on the denominator. See? She said denominator. You can't fucking beat that shit. She's like super smart. In order to balance it out. So here you have the negative, uh, the one, the whole, the singular, that's always going to be there. And then here you have the, the reflection of that, the negative one. Um, and then it's going to reflect itself again into the positive one. Exactly. She's onto something. It's not like she's doing a stupid one with a vertical line and another negative one that turns out to be gibberish. Her third equation where she does that stupid one with a vertical line and then another negative one, yeah, it's gibberish. Okay, but it's not like what she said just means the exact same thing as it did before rendering this entire thing pointless. At best I can figure, she means the vertical line to be like a division or something like that. But that would mean that the bottom of the equation would be 1 divided by negative 1, which would be negative 1. And then that would still be 1 over negative 1. So the answer is still just negative 1. Oh, but... but... um... Every single time she splits it, the answer is just negative 1. But at least she can do math. The reason she thinks she has something is because she can't do math. You know what? You're starting to make me feel stupid here, man. But wait, no, no, wait, wait. Look. Listen to this. She's got you here, you fucking clever clog shit. We say that computers are coded in ones and zeros. Um, zero is not a number. Zero has never been a number. Uh, zero does not exist. Um, nothing can not exist. If it um, has been, then it, um, at one time it was. So zero is... Um, False. The, 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 it, it cancels everything out. It never could have been. It never will be. Um, so zero is not technically a number. Listen to that shit, man. Zero doesn't exist. Fucking own the shit out of you right there with the deepest fucking shit you ever did here. Well, zero is a number. We're humans. We count in base 10. Here, I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. When we get to ten, when we get to something that we cannot count on our hands, we close our hands, representing ten, and start back over at one. When we do math, we use the numbers zero to nine to represent the various numbers in one digit column. When we move past nine, we start a second digit and start over at zero. Zero is integral to math. Math doesn't function without the concept of a zero. Oh wow, this this is actually really embarrassing. For you, because now she's going to explain to your dumb ass how programming works because you've never done it. Oh, oh! Um, so it, computers aren't coded in ones and zeros. It's coded in this, the reflections um, and the, the division and the multiplication of um, the singular. Um, I do programming occasionally, so she's wrong about binary. Binary is base 2 math, so it goes 0, 1. And then when you get to 1 and add 1, it becomes 1, 0. You started the first digit off at 0, you move to the next digit, and increase it by 1. Just like we do with base 10 math, where we're at 9, add 1, becomes 0, 1, 10. So 1, 0 
represents two. <sighs> Is there anything she's correct about? Um, the bottom of the equation? Uh, when one half is divided by two, it is um, also the same as one half times one half. Yes, she's correct. The one half divided by two is one quarter. The one half times one half is still one quarter. Where she gets this one eighth, one sixteenth, and all this stuff, that's just her continuing her nonsense woo from the whole splitting and uh, harmonizing or whatever the crap she thinks she's doing to the other equations where she's splitting the ones up. You don't need to play with that. The answer was negative one. So after all this time, it turns out the crazy lady was wrong. But I had to go make myself look foolish by asking for help when I was unsure about something. Maybe there's a lesson we could all learn from that instead of assume everything we goddamn think is correct, lady. Okay, if we're done, I'm getting rained on, I have orcs to slay, and... This is my day off, man. Seriously. Don't make me hit you with these. Promises, promises. Anyway, thanks to him, I now know for a fact that you are full of shit, woman. Not that I couldn't have guessed. I did the maths and I came to the same conclusions. However, I was unsure about being correct. But like I said, unlike you, if I'm not sure I understand something, I look it up or ask for help, instead of assuming I am some sort of ultimately great thinker. You learned everything that you needed to know in school. They just didn't tell you what to do. Well, you clearly didn't, and that's kind of my point. You think that you know everything you need to know. I get called arrogant and smug and pompous and all sorts of shit by people like you and your mates. In the comments of my videos, all the goddamn time. But I'm not the one who thinks that I know everything I need to know. In fact, I'm actually convinced I'm wrong about a lot of shit. One commentator, I forget his name, but they corrected me on something I was wrong about. And instead of being an advice cunt about it or the old, you got one thing wrong, therefore everything you ever say are incorrect. They said something so simple and I really liked it. I hope that you use your channel to learn as well as dispel bullshit. Nail on the fucking head. The reason I got so into woo mockings and to some extent debunking, although I don't consider myself, nah, whatever, it's because I get to look up interesting random science shit. I now know how caves are formed or I have a better understanding of how orbits work all because I just take the piss out of this shit. And there's infinitely more to learn too. But you, everything I need to know, I learned in high school. Hell, I might have bought that if you had indeed actually learnt anything. Um, and then they put, the way programming works is it's usually a two-third, one-third ratio um, where they, they give you two-thirds of the truth and you believe that two-thirds because it's the majority and then they give you the one-third that is not truth and then through that they can alter your perception. So they have to give you things that are going to resonate with your being and then they get your subconscious by um, twisting it, by putting their own perception on it. No! Especially when it comes to maths and science, not only isn't that how it works, it couldn't work like that. You see, they are tools for understanding how and making things that work. If they don't work, people notice. There's a reason that wootards don't produce anything of value. Woo doesn't work. You don't need anybody else's perception but your own. Remember how some of the greatest creations of mankind are entirely made by one person and certainly aren't collaborative efforts? Yeah, me neither. Um, I came to a really wonderful realization. Um, I was driving to work and I looked out at the sky and the sun and the mountains and the trees and they were all so small. I mean, like tiny and it wasn't that they were all small these are small but the ones out there are far away small far away i forget it 
I hope I can give you enough to work with, but I'm getting waterlogged, so... Oi! Don't ruin the magic! Ugh, fuck's sake.